गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द साइंस क्लास दैट इज द लास्ट लेसन ऑफ साइंस सब्जेक्ट द लेसन नंबर फोर्टीन द स्काई इन दिस लेसन वी हैव स्टडी आफ्टर स्टडिंग दिस लेसन यू हैव स्टडी अबाउट द सन एंड इट्स फैमिली अंडरस्टैंड द शेप एंड साइज ऑफ द अर्थ इट्स मूवमेंट्स कॉजेज ऑफ डे एंड नाइट थर्ड नाउ अबाउट द मेटीयर्स asteroids and comets understand the movements of the moon and its phases no why the earth is a unique planet among the other planets now let us start the lesson first we have studied the sun and its family this you can see in the image student that is our solar system the sun and its family is known as the solar system it comprises of eight planets 173 satellites thousands of asteroids meteoroids and comets are present the star are self luminous self luminous celestial bodies the sun is also a star the solar system is a part of a galaxy which is known as the milky way you know the students when you observe the sky at night you can see the number of stars are twinkling here and there but are there only stars are in the sky no we also see some planets like our planet earth where we live we see the sun in the day time which give us heat and light the moon the meteor meteors asteroids and comets are other celestial or a heavenly bodies the sun and the celestial bodies revolving round its it is together called a solar system you can see in the image student the sun is the center of the solar system in the solar system there are eight planets including our planet the earth that move around the sun the sun planets and other celestial bodies having have a they are revolving around the sun like uh, mercury earth venus mars jupiter saturn neptune all these are revolving around the sun and that is called our solar system next is sun the sun the sun is a star you can see in the image student that is a sun the sun is a big star it is closer to the earth than any other star therefore it looks bigger and brighter than all other stars it is the center of the solar system it is the head of the solar system it exerts a gravitational pull on all its members which orbit around it the sun provides heat and light to us it appears to rise in the east and set in the west do we not feel that the sun is moving around the earth is this true no the heat and light of the sun is essential for human beings plants and animals on the earth you know that student the sun is a star it appears bigger and brighter than the other stars and it is very closer to the earth than the other star the sun is a large spinning ball of hot gases it gives us heat and light which is essential for life on the earth it is 150 million kilometer from the earth the sun is mainly made up of hydrogen and helium you also know that student the sun's surface is divided into three regions the photosphere the chromosphere and the solar corona <coughs> 
द फोटोस्फेयर इज द विजिबल सर्फेस ऑफ द सन जस्ट अबाउट द फोटोस्फेयर आर द क्रोमोस्फेयर एंड द कोरोना दे ऑल्सो इमिट विजिबल लाइट बट आर ओनली सी यूरिंग अ सोलार एक्लिप्स वेन द मून फेज इज बिटवीन द अर्थ एंड द सन यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट देर आर एट प्लैनेट्स इन अवर सोलार सिस्टम इन ऑर्डर ऑफ डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द सन द मर्क्यूरी वीनस अर्थ मास जुपिटर सैटर्न यूरेनस एंड नैपच्यून ऑल दीज आर द नाइन एट प्लैनेट्स इन द सोलार सिस्टम नेक्स्ट इन एंशियंट टाइम पीपल थ्रू द दो दैट द सन द सन द मून एंड द प्लैनेट्स were orbiting the earth this was known as geocentric model it was expounded by caledius ptolemy you can see in the image student that is the model of geocentric model and that is the scientist caledius ptolemy in that model that scientist caledius ptolemy he says that the sun stars and other planets they are move around the earth this model is called a geocentric model of the solar system you can see in the image students the in this solar system the earth is center of the solar system and the moon and sun they are revolving around the earth that model is called a geocentric model that is proposed by caledius ptolemy in the next model in the next model model that is a heliocentric model in the heliocentric model indian astronomer and mathematician aryabhatta proposed that the earth along with other planets they are move around the sun this model is called a heliocentric model of the solar system the first indian astronomer and mathematician aryabhatta he proposed that the earth and the other planets revolved around the sun this is known as heliocentric model of the solar system even Nicholas Copernicus John Kepler also supported this model supported this model later Galileo Galilei an Italian mathematician and physicist invented a telescope and using it further support supported the heliocentric model of Copernicus means Nicholas Copernicus and John Kepler proposed that the earth and other planets move around the sun later the italian mathematician and physicist galileo galilei he developed a powerful astronomical telescope and with the help of he proved that heliocentric copernican model of the solar system next the planets a celestial body orbiting around the sun along an elliptical orbit is called a planet every planet has its own path of movement which is known as orbit the earth also has its own orbit the planets are non luminous bodies they receive light and heat from the sun you can see in the image students how the planets are revolving in its own path <coughs> next the earth you know that student earth is our planet it is also called our home and it is a very unique planet in the solar system it occupies the third place from the sun it is the only planet of the solar system where there is a life because it has ideal condition for life 
such as temperature water and suitable atmosphere with life supporting gases are present in the earth earth is the third planet from the sun it is only planet on which life exist one third of the earth surface is covered by land and two third by water it has elements like oxygen nitrogen hydrogen and carbon which are called building blocks of life it takes 365.25 days to revolve around the sun next the shape of the earth it is confirmed by the scientists that the earth is slightly flattened at the poles and bulging at the equator such a shape is called a geoid meaning earth shaped it denotes the earth is not completely round or circular in shape size of the earth the earth is the fifth largest planet in the solar system its equilateral diameter is 12757 km and the polar diameter is 12714 km this shows that the polar diameter is less than the equilateral diameter by 43 km it denotes that the earth is spherical in shape the total surface area of the earth is 510 million square kilometer next the movement of the earth the movements of the earth the earth has two movements they are the rotation and the revolution the earth spins continuously on its own axis from west to east this is called a rotation the earth also revolve around the sun along its orbit this is called a revolution the earth continues to rotate on its own axis while it's revolving around the sun means earth has a two rot- two movements one is rotation and another one is revolution when earth spins continuously in its own axis from west to east it is called a rotation and when earth is revolving around the sun means they round the sun rotating that is called a revolution so earth has a two movements next day and night during the earth's rotation one side of the earth faces the sun and receives light this part of the earth has a day time means here light the other side of the earth does not receives light it means that has a night time since the earth rotates from west to east the sun appears to rise in the east and sets in the west you can see in the image student next the earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation means in one they take a one day complete for one rotation this is called a day when the earth complete one rotation in a day it is called a day the earth take 365 days to complete one revolution around the sun that is called a one year once again students listen the earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation in its own axis this is called a day one day means it's complete one day the earth take 365 days to complete one revolution around the earth us around the sun that is called a one year the day and year are a result of the earth's movement next the earth is a marvelous why earth is a marvelous student as mentioned earlier the earth is the only planet that has a life like 
factors found on the earth to sustain life. Now this, about 71% of the earth's surface is covered by water and 29% by land. The earth is surrounded by the atmosphere. Atmosphere has oxygen which is very essential for the respiration of all living organism on the earth. Nitrogen, carbon dioxide which is essential for the preparation of food and nutrition of plants. The water which is essential for living beings is available on the earth through the process of water cycle. Life on earth has become possible because of suitable distance between the sun and the earth, ideal climate, varieties of soil which supply food and water to the plants, suitable environment which are present on the earth. Hence, the earth is marvelous planet or a unique planet. There are eight planets in the solar system. In order of their distance from the sun, the names of the planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. So students, in the next video, we continue that lesson. So thank you students. We continue next video in the